Hello and welcome to Treble D. This is part four of our tutorial on how to use SketchUp Free to make this cute and compact attic home. Treble D is free to download from trebled.com and it's free for education purposes. In this video, we're going to put some final touches to our model. Treble D fixtures and fittings are quite basic. This has been done to keep the model size down, but you can find some more realistic appliances at the SketchUp 3D warehouse. Just select this icon in the components browser. I'm going to search for a Bosch cooktop. So I just type that in and search. Now it's going to give us a lot of options. I normally scroll through the pages looking for models that were actually made by Bosch rather than some random person on the internet. Bosch models tend to be accurate and also they have a low poly count. So it's not going to slow down your model. And some of the amateur models can be large files that have their own additional layers on them, which can really mess you up sometimes. So we select this one and we put it in our model. We just place it roughly where we want it and you may have to rotate it and flip it or wiggle it or something. Now I'm going to copy it, delete the old appliance and paste the new one into place. Now we assign it to a layer, fixtures and fittings and that's it. Now we're going to add a little detail to our veranda. We're going to add a 12 inch eave. and then modify this treble D gutter and fascia to suit our model. This gutter is from the walk and roof area. And we also added some end panels to our veranda. Now we're going to make it all a group and copy it over to the other side. We use the rotate tool, get it centered on the ridge and then rotate it round and tap control, copy it to the other side. Now we're going to make a component which will be a round window for the bedroom. I'll just hide this bed. So now we use the tape measure tool to find out where the post will be in the center of the wall here. Then we make two more guides. One's at four foot and the second one is at six foot above the floor. That's 1.2 meters or 1.8 meters. Then we use the arc tool. We draw our semicircle using the guidelines. Then we type in 48. This will give us 48 segments to our semicircle shape rather than the default 12. So that makes for a much more realistic shape. We then select our semicircle and make a copy, then push it through the wall. Now we make another opening on the opposite side. We then exit our shell group and paste our copy and make it a component. We call it win half round. We use the offset tool to make a frame and type in an inch and a half or 35 millimeters. Now we select the center piece and 
make a copy. This is going to be for the glass. Now we delete the center from the frame and then we push pull the frame out three and a half inches or 90 mil and we then assign it to the layer doors and windows. And now just move it into place. Now we paste our glass panel and assign it to the glass layer. We apply the material. Then move the glass into place. Now we select the glass and the frame and we make them a component and name them and assign them to our doors and windows layer. Now we're going to put some detail on our veranda posts. We hide the rest of the model, select the line work around the base and make a copy, tap control and move it 12 inches up. Then tap control again to make a second copy and move it another seven feet higher. Then we push the four sides of the post in, we push it in by half an inch or 12 millimeters. To add a touch of realism for our windows, we're going to put some trim around the windows. We use the rectangle tool Then use the offset tool and type in three and a half inches or 90 mil. We then delete the middle and pull out the frame half an inch or 12 millimeters. We make it a component and we assign it to the trim layer. So we, we use trim so that it won't show up on our floor plans and distort our image and dimensions on the floor plans. So now we copy it, delete it, then paste it into our window component. It will now show up on every instance of that component. And we're going to do the same for the other windows. And we're going to add some detail to our gable ends. Firstly, we push back the roof a bit here to meet the wall, then pull it back out one inch to form a trim. And then we add some trimmers by using components and arrays similar to the way we did the veranda. Now to polish it off, we add some materials using the paint bucket. These are just standard SketchUp materials and they're, they're all really quite good. So here we have it. So to see the finished product and animations, please check out our presentation video. Cheers from Treble D.